Right, 509 now, and it's a video vault morning on the program. And this morning, Tom takes us back in time to remember a successful recording artist who became a big time community leader. It was great to be around a guy that, you know, had so much idealism and really believed in it, especially in our materialistic Las Vegas. <laughs> Oh, that's bassist Monk Montgomery, and his work lives on today, and we have the full explanation headed your way in the video vault coming up. And a set of premium or it gave, it gave it new energy yeah. to the country at the time. So that was like a little bit of a sneak peek back in time, but I know you have more this morning with the video vault. Sure, let's do it. Las Vegas has long been a magnet for quality musicians wanting a steady income without the hardships and uncertainties of life on the road. The trade-off being that they were playing music for the showroom and lounge scene that wasn't necessarily what came from their hearts. Well, one of those players was bassist Monk Montgomery, who arrived here in 1971. He looked around for places to play jazz, and there were very few at the time. Monk had already achieved some success backing his more famous brother, guitarist Wes Montgomery. After Wes passed away, Monk did some solo recording, but also wanted to get more involved with the community. So he gathered together townspeople, musicians, people from the university, uh, people that were interested in jazz, and decided that um, we should start a jazz society. And so we did. <laughs> this was 1975. Judy Tart was there at the beginning when Monk's home was jazz headquarters. So we would go there for meetings, and then we would end up with jam sessions and parties. It was fun. <laughs> and it was working. Because right now it's in the highest resurgence of the history of jazz. And it's almost like striking, the timing is perfect, striking when the iron is hot. There's a lot of work to be done. So he requested and obtained permission to have maybe designated Jazz Month. Jazz, get used to it. This is the fourth annual Jazz Month for Las Vegas. You're going to hear about 37 concerts throughout the month in the Southern Nevada area, and this is the first one. <laughs> Three decades later, Monk is gone, but the organization he started lives on. We would really like to foster the music again and work together to be able to work as a cohesive group. Monk Montgomery passed away in 1982. These days, the nonprofit Jazz Society is involved in jazz at UNLV, College of Southern Nevada, and the Las Vegas Academy, along with a scholarship program. The annual Jazz Picnic is coming up October 26th. We'll have a link when this story posts later this morning at mynews3.com. Oh, yep. Tom, thank you very much for that terrific job. We